Part of, that's the, fundamentally the difference between a reader and a writer. They imagine that ideas are hard to find. And they're not. You know, every day there's five ideas, ten ideas in the newspaper alone. Uh, what's really hard is selecting them because it's not just one idea. A book has got to have probably two or three ideas that combine in a very strong way. And on top of that, they've got to be ideas that are still going to be interesting next year when the book comes out. So finding them is dead easy. It's selecting them that's hard. Definitely the clothing is the thing that they, uh, they mostly worry about. But I do make it clear he takes a lot of showers and he spends a lot of time in the shower and in some of the books he uses a whole bar of soap in the shower. So he's basically quite clean. People just get fascinated by all the various details of his life. They think that it's weird that he should, he folds his pants very carefully and puts them under the mattress at night in order to press them. And people think that's very strange. I think that's completely normal. That's what I do. I think it's totally dependent on plot. If you have a sense of a plot that's going to need the alternative point of view, you know, the bad guy's point of view, meanwhile back at the ranch sort of thing, you've got to have third person obviously because then you can accommodate two different um, points of view. I, my preference honestly would be for first person because I think it's very natural. It's how we all relate to one another, it's how we all uh, recount our day and tell stories. So first person gives you this very natural and very quick bond between the character and the reader. But it is limiting because you can only know what the hero is seeing through his own eyes. You don't have any other information. Yeah, I find it very surprising sometimes. If you leave through your own book, there will be a passage that you absolutely don't remember. And actually I've done panels at, at these festivals where there are say four or five writers and the moderator will read out a passage from somebody's book and you've got to claim it as yours if you wrote it. And it's amazing how often nobody speaks up, nobody recognizes their own work just depending on the passage.